Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O Amen. glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we gather around the table of the Eucharist to encounter our Lord, to allow Him to work wonders in our lives, and to know Him as our Savior and Redeemer to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, You raised the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their Creator and Guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 
A reading from the book of Numbers. Miriam and Aaron spoke against Moses on the pretext of the marriage he had contracted with a Cushite woman. They complained, Is it through Moses alone that the Lord speaks? Does he not speak through us also? And the Lord heard this. Now, Moses himself was by far the meekest man on the face of the earth. So at once the Lord said to Moses and Aaron and Miriam, Come out, you three, to the meeting tent. And the three of them went. Then the Lord came down in the column of cloud, and standing at the entrance of the tent, called Aaron and Miriam. When both came forward, he said, Now listen to the words of the Lord. Should there be a prophet among you in visions, will I reveal myself to him? In dreams will I speak to him? Not so with my servant Moses. Throughout my house he bears my trust. Face to face I speak to him, plainly and not in riddles. The presence of the Lord he beholds. Why then did you not fear to speak against my servant, Moses? So angry was the Lord against them, that when he departed, and the cloud withdrew from the tent, there was Miriam, a snow-white leper. When Aaron turned and saw her a leper, he said to Moses, Ah, my Lord, please do not charge us with the sin that we have foolishly committed. Let her not thus be like the stillborn babe, that comes forth from its mother's womb with its flesh half consumed. Then Moses cried to the Lord, Please, not this. Pray, heal her. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin, cleanse me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. That you may be justified in your sentence, vindicated when you condemn. Indeed, in guilt was I born, and in sin, my mother conceived me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not off from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus made the disciples get into a boat and precede him to the other side of the sea while he dismissed the crowds. After doing so, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was there alone. Meanwhile, the boat, already a few miles offshore, was being tossed about by the waves, for the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them, walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It is a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. At once, Jesus spoke to them, Take courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter said to him in reply, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and said to him, O you of little faith, why did you doubt? After they got into the boat, the wind died down. Those who were in the boat did him homage, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. After making the crossing, they came to land at Gennesaret. When the men of that place recognized him, they sent word to all the surrounding country. People brought to him all those who were sick and begged him that they might touch only the tassel on his cloak, and as many as touched it were healed. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> My dear brothers and sisters, we have been following the ministry of Jesus, the many actions of Jesus during His ministry with the people. Sinusundan po natin ang Ebanghelyo ayon kay San Mateo na si Jesus ay mayroong mga ginagawa sa kanyang paglilingkod sa mga tao. We have uh, listened to how Jesus fed the 5,000 men plus the women and children, the feeding of the multitude, the miracle of the feeding of the 5,000 men. And today, we hear another story of Jesus of the many actions that he did. Today, we hear about Jesus saving his disciples, saving Peter from sinking. And again, we hear Jesus going to the land in Gennesaret, and when Jesus and His disciples arrived there, they performed miracles. They healed the sick. But my dear brothers and sisters, as we hear about the many things that Jesus did, it is also important to take note that as Jesus was performing His ministry, he was also revealing Himself to them. 
habang si Jesus ay naglilingkod sa mga tao, mahalaga na tingnan natin na sa mga kwento ng kanyang paglilingkod sa mga tao, si Jesus din ay nagpapakilala sa mga tao. The action of Jesus reveals who He is. Kung ano ang ginagawa ni Jesus, nagpapakilala ito. Sino ba siya? Anong klase siyang Panginoon? Anong klase siyang guro? In the feeding of the multitude, we see Jesus as the Lord who cares for His people, who feeds His people. A Lord who knows how to care. In the story today, we see the disciples when seeing Jesus walking on the water, they said it is a ghost. They mistake, they have mistaken Jesus as a ghost. But Jesus showed to them that he is not a ghost. And in the experience of Peter, walking on the water but sinking because of lack of faith, Jesus saved him. And upon saving Peter, saving them from the storm, the disciples were able to say, Truly, you are the Son of God. And when Jesus was performing the, His healing miracles in Genesaret and in many different places, people were able to recognize Him as their healing Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, today, let us try to reflect on this. Do not just ask, what did Jesus do for me? But in the midst of all the actions of Jesus in our life, let us ask also, who is this Lord for me? In our first reading today from the book of Numbers, God also revealed Himself to Moses. Yes, He was the God who was talking to Moses. Yes, He was the God who saved the people of Israel from Egypt. Yes, He was the God who gave them the commandments. But today, Jesus, God, revealed Himself to Moses as His faithful friend. Aaron and Miriam were jealous and they were trying to discredit Moses. Sinisiraan nila si Moises. Pero ipinagtanggol ng Diyos si Moises. He was not only the God who saved the people of Israel, but for Moses, he was also a faithful master, a faithful friend who defended him. Sa araw po na ito, mga kapatid, ito po sana ang ating pagnilayan ngayong araw. Alam ko po na kung tatanungin tayo, marami tayong masasabi na Ano na nga ba ang ginawa ng Diyos para sa iyo? Ano na nga ba ang mga tinanggap mong biyaya galing sa Diyos? Ano na nga ba ang mga dasal mo na sinagot ng Diyos? Mas madali itong sagutin. Pero tandaan natin na sa pagkilos ng Diyos sa ating buhay ay nagpapakilala rin siya. Sino ba siya? para sa iyo. Sino ba siya sa iyong buhay? Sana wag lang nating masagot ang tanong anong nagawa niya para sa iyo, kundi sa araw na ito, sagutin din natin at pagnilaya ng tanong na ito. Sino ba si Jesus sa akin? 
isa ba siyang multo para sa akin? O sa lahat ng ginawa niya para sa akin ay nakilala ko siya. Siya ay isang tapat na kaibigan. Siya ay anak ng Diyos na makapangyarihan. Kaya hindi ako matatakot sapagkat kilala ko siya na anak ng Diyos na nagmamalasakit, nagbibigay ng pagkain, nagliligtas sa anumang panganib, nagpapagaling sa anumang sakit. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus reveals Himself to us in all the actions that He is doing. Let Jesus reveal Himself to you today as a faithful friend, a caring master, and a saving and healing Lord. Amen. Let us make our prayers as God's faithful people looking to Jesus Christ as He encouraged the wavering faith of St. Peter so we know He is always with us, His hand outstretched to strengthen us and raise us up. For every petition, let us say, Son of God, save us. Son of God, save us that the church of god visibly united around the successor of peter and the apostles may be guided by the power of the lord's presence amidst the crises and storms that they encounter let us pray to the lord son, son of, of god, god save, save us, us that there may be peace and justice in those nations divided by war and conflicts. Let us pray to the Lord. Son, Son of God, God, save us. That those who are drifting aimlessly in the stormy seas of life may find in the church a haven of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Son, Son of, of God, God, save us that the sick may find consolation in Christ's healing mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Son of God, save us. That the faithful departed may find heavenly rest in God's presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Son of God, save us. Lord God, as you receive these prayers, Grant us strong faith and abiding trust in your Son, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, 
for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts Heaven, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, do so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep 
in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. A company with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We thank you for joining us in this uh, uh, online celebration of uh, the Holy Eucharist. We thank you for uh, continuing to follow us and especially the Manila Cathedral page. And uh, we continue to pray for everyone, our families, our communities, so that we may continue to take care of one another, especially as we uh, uh, already enter into this stricter community quarantine for the sake of all of us. And uh, we also constantly pray for our frontliners, our medical workers, doctors and nurses, and all the other frontliners. May our Lord Jesus always protect you and give you strength in this time that you are working very hard to protect our country. And uh, we also would like to uh, thank the elderly community of the Carmelite missionaries in La Paz, in Iloilo. We thank you for always joining us in our uh, online celebration of the Holy Mass. And uh, rest assured that we are one with you in our prayers so that our healing Lord may be your consolation, your health, and your strength in this time. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.